Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today we see we start uh, the topic of latch, all right? And the latch that we discuss is what? Uh, it, let's say the SR latch. SR latch, all right? But what is a latch, all right? So, so latch is what? It's the basic storage element, all right? Uh, a basic storage element is called a latch all right and it is a single bit storage element all right single bit which means that it latches zero and or one all right zero and one okay these are the only two possibilities we can only store a single bit number there are two ways to design this sr latch and this sr latch can be designed with the help of a uh, uh, with the help of nor gates and also with the help of nand gates all right so we see them both and first let's say we see the the nor gate all right so so how do we design it? The basic method is like this, okay? We have uh, this uh, this single LOR gate over here, two inputs, and another two input NOR gate. Now this has an output, this has an output. All right? Uh, one input is over here one input is over here okay now the second input is or let me change the color of this uh, gate so that it is more uh, easy to understand all right this is not drawn correctly so i change that color and let's say this I've told you again and again, I'm very weak in this uh, drawing these gates, all right? So this is the input R, all right? And now we have a feedback from here. And you know what a feedback is? It's, it's something from the previous output to the next state, all right? So over here we have the output as Q, all right? This is Q. And over here, with the red, we have the uh, the input as S, and the output over here is Q complement, which means it would be complement. And now the the second input to to the to the first or uh, NOR gate is another feedback. Now this is the basic structure of what of uh, SR latch with NOR gates. All right. So now, uh, for, to use these NOR gates, you, you need to remember the truth table of it, all right? And let's say I draw it over here for you guys. We have an A, B, and the function which means A is NOR with Y. And NOR means uh, A uh, or B, whole complement. All right? And what do you have? Now you have two inputs, so you can have a four possible combinations. So you have a zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. And the outputs are what? The outputs, you know. Uh, are one triple zero all right now a very important property that we use in this uh, particularly in this uh, video is that in one and uh, a nord with one is zero all right so this is the property a uh, nord with one is equal to zero over here you have it, okay? You have a one node with zero is a zero, one node with one is a zero, all right? 
So this property, right like now we define, we, we see that through, through some cases, all right? So let's say number one case is when you have, uh, uh, when you have S equal to zero and R equal to one, all right? So, uh, and what are these S and R? So you need to know this also. So this S basically stands for a set. S is set and this R is reset. Now, what does this do when this S is zero? And when this S will be high, so Q will be high, all right? This implies that when this S will be one, Q will be one, all right? And when the R will be one, the reset will be one, so which means that the flip-flop is reset and the output will be zero. The output is Q, basically. And the next is the complement of it, all right? So now the first case, the first case is, let's say, when S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1. 0, 1, all right? So, S is equal to 0, and R is equal to 1. So now, what do we have? Uh, this is a 1. So you have that a 1 or a nod with anything. The output, whatever it is over here, you have a zero over here. All right? This is the first case. Now this zero will be provided as a feedback, or let me write it with the same color that I used uh, over here or over there. Okay? So the black color I used, so S was uh, 0 and R was 1, all right? So now one node with anything, the output would be 0. And you have a 0 at the over here, so which means now 0, 0 will give you a 1. All right, so over here, this implies what? That your Q is equal to 0 and Q complement would be equal to 1. Now, how do we know that either it is uh, stored or it is not stored? So, we see that by removing the inputs. And by removing the inputs, I mean that you make S equal to 0 and R equal to 0. All right? So, now, uh, you make S equal to 0 and R equal to 0. Uh, so, this R was 1 and I make it a 0 now. And this S was uh, 0 from first, okay? So now, you have what? This Q complement was 1. So this Q complement comes in here. All right, so this is a 1 over here. We have now 1 or 0 node with 1 is a 0. So you have an output of 0. And now this 0 comes back at the feedback over here. So you have a 0, 0, which is a 1 back, which means that after removing the inputs in this case, you have the same output, that is Q is equal to zero and R is equal to zero, which means that this has been stored and this is the memory state. Is that fine? Okay. Now you do what? I uh, will remove this first. Okay. Okay, now we see the case number two. And let's say in this case I make S equal to 1 and R equal to 0. And for those values, I find the value of Q and Q complement. All right, so now S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0. So what do you have by the, again this property that anything node with 1 will result in 0. All right? Now this 0 will come as a feedback to this gate and 0, 0 will now result in Q being equal to 1, which is in accordance to what I stated earlier, that when the set is high, so the Q bit would be high, which means the output would be high and the Q complement will of course be 0. Now to check whether either it's, it's stored or not, we remove the inputs and by removing, I mean again that we provide a low signal. So now we, we check the status of Q and Q complement, all right? 
So that was already a zero. Now making this s a zero. All right. This s is a zero. All right. So now what do you have? You had a q equal to one. So that comes over here. All right. You try to uh, to, to to do the ones first. All right. So when you have a zero one, which means the output would be a zero again. And this zero will now be provided a feedback over here, and this zero zero will result in a one again. So, which means that again we have a Q equal to one and a Q complement equal to zero. All right, okay, and now this means that again we have a memory for S equal to zero and R equal to zero. We have again the previous state uh, attained. All right. Now, if you see for, uh, for, for the third case, let's say I do with the green color. So this is the important most case, all right? All right. Let's say I make S equal to one and R equal to one. Now, what do we have? All right, so I remove uh, this first, these inputs first. All right. Okay. So if you provide the set equal to high and the reset as high, so what do you have? Okay. So from this property, you have a zero. All right. At any point. Now over here we have a zero, and over here we have a zero again because one is over here. So which means that our Q would be zero. And the Q complement would be zero, which is something wrong. All right, which is something wrong because Q and Q complement cannot be the same. All right, so we have something wrong from this very basic state. Uh, but let's say we see for the memory, if we have the memory state, if S, if I remove the inputs, S equal to zero, and r equal to zero so what is the value of q and q complement again so this is the cap okay and let's say uh, over here i have it so zero and this is zero now so what do you have in this case let's say i start with the q okay so i this zero comes down here I told you that you start with a one, but if you don't have a one, so you can start with any one. So zero, zero now will give you a one. So I remove this part of it also. This will give you a, uh, sorry, over here I have a one. Now this one will come over here. Okay, so now this zero, one will give you a zero. All right, which means that uh, Q is equal to zero and Q complement is equal to one. All right, so this is not a memory state. Now I, I can have one other way. This In this, I operated the Q first, all right? Now if I operate Q complement first, if Q complement is uh, taken first, so then what is the value of Q and Q complement? So we see it uh, by this so I remove that so now we have what if <coughs> Q complement uh, is taken first so we had them both zero zeros basically uh, over here we had a zero and over here we had a, a zero also so let's say I take the Q complements zero and I provide it over here now this zero zero will give me a one and now this one will come at the feedback and this zero one will give me a zero again. All right, so this will give me a zero. Now what do you have? The Q is one and Q complement is zero, which is again something different from the previously obtained in the very same circuit. All right, this, have a look. Q and Q complement are not matching in these two cases when we, ob uh, when we observe for first Q or first for Q complement, so they are coming different. 
and the and the difference became right uh, with the star of it when we had q and q complement both having the same values which was wrong so this state this state this s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 state is basically an invalid state and we do not use it this is a not used state as well all right so that's all about the nor gates flip flop okay so if i draw a truth table for it if let's say i have s uh, all right remove this truth table so we have enough space over here because we don't need it anymore now let's say i have an s r and then i have q and q complement so depending on the combination let's say we have a 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so now what is the 0 0 state so we've seen that this is the memory state which means whatever was the previous output is stored over here which means that the next state is equal to the previous state okay now when x is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 so you have q is 0 and q complement as 1 of course and now when s is equal to 1 and r is 0, which means the set bit is high, so the output would be high and the complement would be 0. And this 1, 1 state, this is an invalid state and it means that this is a not used state. All right? And so I believe uh, we have taken a little longer time in this uh, video while discussing the SR latch with the NOR gate. We discussed the NAND gate SR latch in the upcoming video that's very simple all right you can do it uh, yourself as well but i'll do it for you guys so see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye